This is Merection of Pokemon Season 1, Episode 77, Round 1, Begin. In the last episode, Ash and the gang got to wield the torch, even though Team Rocket tried to steal it, but it was fine because the dude had a spare. So they wielded the torch, and they got to the Pokemon League. Then as the Pokemon League was about to begin, Team Rocket came in yet again, trying to steal the torch. But then Moltres was kind of there? I guess Moltres is the flame? I don't really know. Also, if you like full and early directions to Pokemon and other shows that rack you, you can join my Patreon. Like all of these lovely people, the support really does help me out and really means a lot and makes it so I keep making videos like this for you guys on a regular basis. So if you like help join and support me, the link that is down below. So yeah, let's see. Oh, the watching from home? Oh, and Andy Elia. Oh, Ash just walked in the background. Can check in while I check out your beautiful city. Oh my god. I could check that out all day. Uh, uh, it's checkout time uh. for you, bro. <laughs> so the ear pull was never a thing in the first season, was it? I think it happened like once or twice. Uh, yes. But I guess it doesn't become a regular thing. So for a while. Isn't that right? He was a gym leader. Because I've studied this, the yeah. Pokemon League Trainer's Book, the source for everything every Pokemon trainer needs to know about the Pokemon League. Right, miss? That's that too. Wherever the light stops is where your first match is. Good luck, Ash. Okay. Rock. Oh, so close. That's the water field. All right. So the water field it is. I just guess I can have Select your opponent. Who's that? I'm Jesse, and I came up with the name. I thought it captured the essence of me. At least they are an R network, which is what I thought it would be. The astounding only appears on networks that have viewers. Oh! Well, is that so, Magic Boy? Come back here, and I'll make your teeth disappear. I bet a lot of viewers would love to see that. Oh yeah. Ash, do you want to use some of my water Pokemon for your? No, Misty. Yeah. Plus, I only can share. After all, I think Pallet Town deserves at least one trainer who's not a total embarrassment. <laughs> oh, burn. I'll show him. Oh, oh, is it one o'clock already? Please go to the nearest courtesy phone for an important call. Oh, no, it's probably his mom. Or out. Same thing. Oh yeah, he does have a Krabby. Krabby doesn't look too shabby. Professor, could you send Krabby right away? Can't do, Ash. This should really cheer you up. Krabby. Who's he gonna send back in this place? This'll just take a moment. Honey, you look thin. Are you eating all right? Mom, you're there. Professor, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm Ash. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. My hands are for Pokeballs, not for people. <laughs> Yeah, I, I bet they are. <laughs> I bet they are. That's an unfortunate when trainers pick the right or wrong Pokemon to battle with. You could be right. Honestly, I would just suck with Squirrel, Bulbasaur, and Pikachu. The odds are if everyone else is going to start using water Pokemon, having two Pokemon that are effective against water would be a good, a good thing. Oh, Gary won. Good for him. See, they're just using water Pokemon. That's why you should have like grass and electric. Tentacruel cool is out of the match. The winner is Seeking. What a finish! Seeking's horn drill sink. Any chance of a Tentacruel cool comeback, and the Green Trainer is the winner. By the way, you don't even have a name. You just called Green Trainer. Ash, you're shaking. Could have just called him Bob. Literally any other name. Speaking of shaking, huh? I could go for a chocolate shake. Oh, me too. Me too. Oh, that sounds so good now. Watch me work my magic. I have some tricks of my own. Mm. I'm not just some dwarf. Hey. Meh. <laughs> Listen up, kid. We're on your side this time, so you better know. Oh, wow. <laughs> Team Rocket. Team Rocket is rooting for Ash. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my. Damn. Those guys never change. I mean, at least they're rooting for you. That's a change. Awesome. Those 
were some of my top favorite officer Jennies. Uh, you can tell them apart? Of course I can. Yeah, he can. Jenny go. Executor. Exe See, he is grass type. Inside your too, but that grass type too. That's smart. Oh, yeah, he just see Krabby. Yeah, I don't know what Krabby's gonna do. I've always got Squirtle and Pikachu for backup. He's making a big mistake. Yeah. Psychic and grass type. Mm. Oh, he's like, hey, hey, I'm here. Now, use your fight script. Executor. Executor. Hypnosis. Oh, no. Oh. Pull him in the water. Sink him. Wow. I low key called BS on that battle, but it's fine. I don't really care that much. Yeah, Ash did it. Krabby did a great job. Oh my seriously? Hey. It looks like the intensity of the battle has caused Krabby to His first battle and he evolved. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if that'll work, dude. Yeah, that won't work, dude. Kingler's too slow to hit my seed that I when it's using its agility. Oh what? Wait, seriously? Are you serious? Okay, this one once again I'm calling BS on. I'm calling BS on this battle too. The fact that Kingler, who this is his first battle, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I'm sorry. He was scared, but he was tough enough to stick to his strategy, and the crowd seems to be on I hope his third Pokemon like wipes out Kingler and makes it more of a challenge. Can handle this. No. Gold. That's your big last Pokemon is a Golbat? I mean, I guess he can fly, which I guess... This is the worst thing that can happen to Ash now. Why? Kingler is really weak against air attacks. Quick, no, no. Pokemon, use Pikachu! <laughs> Not so fast. Kingler, dive underwater! Can this one wipe out Kingler? Because, like, I'm calling BS if Kingler sweeps this battle. I'm calling Mega BS. You know Hyper Beam? You just evolved! I call BS. I call BS on this entire fucking first battle. No fucking way. No fucking way can Krabby in his first battle not only evolve, but sweep an entire gym or the gym trainer, whatever, and magically learn Hyper Beam in the process. No, BS. B fucking S. Even though you're a dick, I mean, I still feel like there should be more of a challenge. B fucking S. Yeah, literally. Unbelievable. I do not believe it. Yeah, I think it's just like that. Dude. Off to a great start, but is this the start of a winning streak or just beginner's luck? Find beginner's out luck. The are in store. For sure. The second round is just around the corner. Okay. That was my reaction to Pokemon Season One, Episode Seventy Seven, Round One. Begin the most BS battle I've ever seen. So Ash was facing off against this dude named Mandy, and he sent out Krabby, who had never battled before. Keep in mind, first battle and sweeped. The battle. Krabby sweeped the battle, evolved into Kingler, magically learned Hyper Beam and while evolving. And then sweeped 
the battle. Like, it would have been one thing had he, like, returned Kingler and, like, sent him a Squirtle or Pikachu and had one of them faint and then sent Kingler back out to fight again. That would have been one thing. I would have bought that. But the fact that Kingler literally swept it, I don't buy it. I'm sorry. That is the most BS battle I've ever seen. That is what you call beginner's luck because there is no fucking way he's going to do that again. I will call BS again if he does. So, yeah. That's it.